Hi everybody, welcome back to Bearded Reef, my name's Ross. In this video I'm going to be adding some new fish and some cleanup crew to the tank. Okay, hi everybody. Like I said there in the intro, um, today we're going to be adding a new fish to the tank and a couple of items of cleanup crew as well that are quite interesting, so we'll get them added to you. Um, first of all, I just wanted to say a massive thank you to everyone who has subscribed recently and if you've already subscribed, thanks very much, I do appreciate that. If you haven't subscribed, if you could consider it, it would mean a massive amount to me. So, yeah, um, thanks very much for that. Anyway, we'll move on to what I've got today. So, like I said, I have got a new fish to go in the tank and some cleanup crew. Um, went across to Nessie's Lair, which is my local fish shop. Highly, highly recommend checking out Nessie's Lair. If you're in the kind of Fife area, check them out. Worth a drive to there if you're not. Also, Nessie's Lair do have a website now. So I'll put the website on the screen here so you can see that. Check out the website and they can deliver fish, corals, inverts and so on to you. So um, don't longer need to worry about travelling to the shop. But yeah, the guys are fantastic. Um, they're, you can't ask for anything better from a fish shop. Big thing with them is they do quarantine all the fish correctly for, for weeks and weeks beforehand. So you know they won't release any fish that haven't been properly quarantined, haven't been washed feeding and so on. So um, yeah, highly, highly recommend Nessie's there. So yeah, we'll dive into what I've got here. I'll get things um, out of the bag and I'll show you what I went for. Okay, so like I said, we'll get these out of the bag for you guys. Let you see what we've got. Um, I'll get them acclimated. There's no point in me showing you that again. I've shown you that a couple of times now. Um, I'll get them in the tank and let you see that as well. Apologies if you can hear the fans on. Um, it's about 27 degrees here today, so very, very warm day. Um, tank's currently sitting at 25.6, so not too bad. My tank sits at 25. Um, it's been fluctuating 25.6 up to 25.8, I think is the max I've seen. Fans are bringing it quite back down quite quickly, so not been too bad. Um, but yeah, it's, it's hot just now. So anyway, let's have a look at these. So what did I get? Take this little right there. So I don't know what order these are in. But I'll take them out anyway, so we can have a little look. they're all doing well. Now I don't know about you guys but like I said it is it's pretty hot up here just now so what I actually done when I went to Nessie's there was I took um, got one of these little cool bags that I got from I think it was Fish Keeper Scotland, Maidenhead Aquatics if you're in England, one of these that I just take down. Um, I try to keep them at a steady temperature that's all it is when I'm transporting them so I mean it's not a long journey back here but just wanted to check that anyway so um, yeah let's take a look at what we've got. So in this first bag here, this is the big one, I'm going to leave this for last. Okay, so this one, now this here, I don't know if you'll be able to see that too well or not, but I got two sexy shrimps. So that's the two sexy shrimps. I'll sit them in here, let these guys get acclimated a little. One of the things that I like to do with this, I um, don't know if I've showed you guys this before, I just get a little clothes peg and just clip that to the side of the tank so that it doesn't float away. And it seems to do the trick pretty well to be honest. Okay, so next thing that I got are these two, um, I think they're called ninja star shells if I'm not mistaken. Uh, snails, sorry. I think that's what they're called, Ninja Star Snail. So we've got two of these guys. Um, get them in. Get them the same thing. This one here, um, I actually really like this one. It's something a bit different for me anyway. Um, I was looking at a kind of cleaner shrimp. And it was actually Jamie when I was in suggested this. Now, you, there's no way you're going to see this, but this is actually a Pedersen shrimp. Type of cleaner shrimp, um, a bit smaller, got kind of purple on it. I'll put a wee picture on the screen for you guys to see. Um, but this is actually a really, really nice shrimp. So I got that one as well. And finally. This is the one that I, I fell in love with in the shop actually when I seen it, I thought this was really really nice. I went with 
this, which I don't know if you guys can see or not, but this is actually a possum wrasse. So I went with this little possum wrasse here, uh, I'm just going to get them in the water to try and get it acclimated a bit. So yeah, that's the possum wrasse. I'll get these guys in and I'll jump back to you and let you see them. Okay, so that's been three days now since I added um, the fish and the cleanup crew to the tank. So I'm just going to put in some clips here to show you what the guys are like now. Um, everything's looking pretty good to be honest with you, I'm quite happy. The wrasse was kind of skittish for a while, did hide out of the way. It's starting to slowly come out now, so I think it's just obviously the nature of the fish. Um, it's not going to be out like the clowns are, so you know that's fine, but I really, really like the wrasse, it's nice. Um, Perishing shrimps took up home in the Florida Recordia, it seems to be quite happy there, so yeah. Like I say, I've got some clips, I'll chuck them in here just now to let you guys see. Um, I'll give you a couple of facts about them and that, just some care guides, um, just to help you out if you are interested and get them for your tank, but yeah, um, we'll jump into that now and let you see that. Okay folks, so I'm no expert on this, but I'll try and give you a kind of run through of everything that I've got. So this first one here is the Pedersen shrimp, um, also known as a Pedersen cleaner shrimp or Caribbean anemone shrimp. Um, they come from kind of the western part of the tropical Atlantic and Caribbean oceans. Um, they're a kind of clear, almost clear brown colour, but they look more clear, um, with kind of purple and blue markings on them. Mine's is a bit more red than the purple, um, but it still looks really good. Um, front claws are really large, and they do have the same patterns on the claws as well. Um, now these shrimp are cleaner shrimp. They lure fish into their surroundings using the larger antenna on the front. Uh, many fish will even allow them to clean the inside of their mouths, which is something quite spectacular to see. Um, if you go on YouTube and search for cleaner shrimp, um, you'll actually see videos of them cleaning, I think it's a scorpion fish in mouth that I've seen. Um, but yeah, so so they do best in the aquariums with plenty of live rock for foraging and hiding. Um, they will form a relationship with many species of an enemy, uh, but that's not really required for the health of the shrimp. Um, like I said before, they lure, lure kind of large fish into their surroundings and climb on the fish to clean the parasites from them. Um, just make sure that you don't house them with any fish or invertebrates that can cause harm to them. Um, they are kind of peaceful shrimp, they'll not cause any harm. Um, they do eat most meat or fish ba based diets, sorry. Um, they'll eat any kind of mysis shrimp or so on. Um, they don't go too big, they'll go about an inch and a half. They are really peaceful, like I said. Um, and they're completely reef compatible. So, yeah, brilliant addition to the reef, something that looks really good and serves a purpose as well. Okay, so this one is the sexy shrimp. Um, I'm not going to get into great detail with these because everybody seems to know what they are anyway. Um, but yeah, they're an easy shrimp to look after. Um, quite a peaceful one. Again, kind of um, red and white markings on them. They'll get to about an inch and a half in size. Um, they're completely reef safe. And kind of the best thing to do is keep them in small groups. I've got two of them here, as you'll see. Um, but you can feed a complete varied diet. Um, plankton, flake, frozen food, meaty foods. Um, they'll actually pick up any detritus and so on off the bottom of the tank. As you'll see, mine's just kind of hosted the anemone, um, sorry the Duncan, but they will host anemones as well. So um, they can be called anemone shrimps. Like other shrimps, they won't really tolerate any high nitrate or copper levels. So um, just need to make sure the iodine levels in the tank are good as well. But yeah, that's the sexy shrimp. Okay, so last but certainly not least is my favourite, which is the yellow banded possum wrasse. Also can, can be known as a pygmy possum wrasse or an arrowhead wrasse. Uh, these come from Indonesia mainly, um, but it's got an arrowhead-like shape. Um, they're kind of red-orange colour. As they're younger, it's quite bright. As the fish matures, it kind of darkens to a deeper, rustish kind of colour. Um, mine's is that kind of deeper colour just now. I don't know if it's because it's slightly more mature or if it's because of the fact I've not added it long ago. But yeah, um, they are, the male and female are very similar in colour, so you'll, you'll kind of struggle to see the same. The male will show more colours um, if it's presented by females, but yeah. Um, so yeah, they're, they're peaceful, kind of active fish. They'll bring great colour and activity to either a fish only or a reef aquarium, they're completely reef safe. Um, they'll need a tank size of 10 gallons or larger, um, if it's anything less than 10 gallons I, I wouldn't recommend them. Um, they're completely reef safe, like I said, they won't harm any corals or invertebrates, um, so yeah, perfect fish for a reef aquarium. Um, you just need to be careful that you've got a lid on because they can jump, so you need a tight fitting lid on the top. Um, diet wise, include kind of vitamin enriched frozen mysis shrimp brine shrimp, um, any other kind of meaty foods, and they will take any flake and pellet food as well. Um, so we'll kind of get to about three inches in size, I believe, that's the kind of the biggest that we'll get. Um, completely reef safe, they are peaceful, standard conditions, there's nothing else really spectacular you need to know about them other than that, so yeah, um, I'm hopeful that this will be quite a good addition to the tank, but that's the three new additions anyway, so 
really happy with them. Okay, so there you have it. That's how things have settled in after three or four days. Um, I think it looks great. I think everything's looking well. I'm really happy with the, the fish and the cleanup crew. Um, AT was going. Obviously, as you'll see, there is some algae in the tank now. Um, if you see my previous video, that's because my nitrates are low. So I didn't actually do a water change at the weekend there. I skipped that. Um, and I've been slightly overfeeding, so the nitrates are starting to come up a bit. Um, hopefully we can catch that. So again, we're getting the hand checker in my previous video. That's been a godsend for that. So that's really helped out. Um, yeah, so I'll do an update video on that soon to let you guys know how we're getting on with that. But the nitrates are on their way back up again. So yeah, thanks very much to everybody who's watched this video. Um, thanks again for all your support, all your help and advice that you've gave me. I um, really do appreciate it. I appreciate all the comments that you guys leave in the video as well. If you haven't left a comment in this video, leave one down below with what you think. Um, let me know. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Um, really helps out with that one. And the biggest thing, if you're not already subscribed, if you could subscribe to the channel, that would be fantastic. Um, like I say, I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. If we do that, we'll get a giveaway on the go soon. Uh, I've been given some prizes for the giveaway already, so looking forward to that. I think you guys will enjoy this one. Um, so yeah, thanks very much guys, hope you're all staying safe out there, take care, bye bye.